everybody. Welcome back to the channel for another video. I hope that you guys all had an amazing Easter with your families. Today is actually April 1st that I'm filming this. So happy April Fool's Day as well. Today I have for you guys my monthly Aldi haul. Um, now this is a bigger haul from Aldi than I normally do. This was just under $200. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I approached my Aldi haul a little bit differently this month. I actually am getting a lot of my meat from Aldi this month instead of Sam's Club. I figured I would try that out and see if it was any cheaper. Uh, so the, the haul's a little bit bigger this month, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. This morning before I left, I actually went through and cleaned out the refrigerator and the pantry and all of that so that everything was clean and fresh. I took like, you know, all of the containers out and wash them and all of that. So that was a lot of work this morning. So we've been, we've been going through it this morning. Also, if my voice sounds a little bit wonky, it's because I have some terrible allergies right now. I actually went to the park on Friday for a couple of hours with some friends. And ever since then, my allergies have just been crazy. It's, this is actually the best I've sounded all weekend. So if I sound a little off, that is why, but going to go ahead, turn you around and share with you what I got. And as I'm talking or as I'm showing you things, I will mention like the meals and stuff, like my, my plans in my head. So let me turn you around and get going. Starting right up front, I did buy two of the frozen chicken tenderloins from um, Aldi. Now, I am not a fan of Aldi fresh chicken breast. I honestly just don't trust it. It never looks great. So I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to take a chance on that. So I went with the frozen, although I have been buying the frozen at Sam's Club lately as well. So this is, this has been my go-to lately. So I bought two bags of those. They were $6 and some change a piece and you got two pounds or 40 ounces in each bag. So two of those for like nuggets and stuff for the kids this month, I got them one of the Kirkwood fully cooked chicken fries and then one of the breaded popcorn chicken. It says it was made with, or it says it is made with all white meat chicken. So I thought that would be a good little like change up from the normal chicken nuggets or whatever. This is something different. I have been wanting to make the switch to ground turkey for quite a while now, and I decided to give it a go this month, mostly because ground turkey is so much cheaper. This frozen ground turkey was only $2.75, um, and yeah, so we've had it before in like spaghetti and tacos, and I don't feel like you can really tell a difference in those two things, so that's what my thought process for this is. We're going to use it in spaghetti and tacos, um, so I got three of those. And then I did just get two ground beefs as well to use in other things that I don't think the ground turkey will be good in. The 93.7, the organic one, this one was $5.29. So not a bad price on that, especially for it being grass-fed and organic. I got some canned goods. There's actually some somewhere else as well. I know I got two cans of black beans. There are two of the red beans or the kidney beans. Now the black beans are for homemade pizza and the two cans of red beans, I believe the other ones are over here. Yes, they are for uh, jambalaya. And then I also got two things of refried beans for the homemade pizza as well. Uh, coming back over this way, I don't know why I put some cans here and some over there. I've mentioned in my last uh, food line haul that the raspberry lemonade drink mix, the food line brand one, they switched it and it's not as good anymore. So the Aldi one is the only one that I can find that still tastes like the original raspberry lemonade drink mixes. You know what I'm saying? So I bought three of them so that I would have enough for the month. I believe you get 10. Yeah, 10 in each one. So I went ahead and bought three. Hopefully that gets me and the girls through the month. I bought one box of rotini so that we can have um, chicken alfredo one time this month. This was Finley's little treat that she asked for. Um, and yeah, she just said, she says she had them at school. I've never bought these before, but she says she's had them at school and they're good. So I bought it because she was being relatively behaved at the grocery store. Two boxes of jambalaya. Again, easy, easy way out on that. But um, we've had these before and they're the, all of the earthly grain ones are really good. Chris said he needed more Parmesan cheese, so I picked that up for him. And then I did just get two things of taco seasoning. So our plan is to have two um, or tacos twice this month, or probably actually it'll be like tacos once and nachos once, but we'll need uh, 
two packs of taco seasoning. Saltine crackers for Chris. And then we are having spaghetti twice this month. So I bought two boxes of angel hair for that. I believe they're both angel hair. Yeah, they are. These chips is something we've never tried before. Um, the kettle chips variety pack. So you get four bags of barbecue, six bags of original, three salt and vinegar, and then three of this jalapeno. That's the only one I'm not sure about that, that if we will like it or not. Bryson is the one that I think he might. Everything else I know will get eaten. So I went ahead and got this. This was 16 bags for, again, like six bucks. So much better deal than even getting chips in bulk at Sam's Club. Uh, let's see. So we're going to come back down to the front. We're going to make like a, a, a twirl, you know? Um, so we have two things of spaghetti sauce. We bought this for the first time last month and really liked it. So I got two more for our homemade pizzas this month and two spaghetti sauces for our spaghetti nights. And then one, of course, chicken Alfredo. So that kind of covers all of that. So we have pretty much everything that, or we do have everything to make those meals, um, on hand now because I've gotten the meat and the top. Well, I guess like, you know, the fresh vegetables, like the green peppers and stuff, but everything else we have. So that takes care of already just off the bat too. six meals, seven meals with the jambalaya. So that's pretty, I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, I got just one of the Irish butters. We have one more from last month left. And then these Nathan's hot dogs were on a really good deal. So I went ahead and got them. I did not get hamburger buns. We're not eating those this week, but we will put them in the freezer for a future night this month. Two of these little organic pouches for Georgia. She'll eat these if she like refuses her lunch or she's just not having a good solid food day, then I'll give her these. So this one is the apple, banana, and raspberry with yogurt. And then this one is the apple, banana, and strawberry with yogurt. So I just got her two, just to have on hand. One bag of garlic knots for spaghetti this week. Aluminum foil, just because I was out of it. Um, so this is something else I'm trying. We had these before, but I usually buy them at Sam's. So these were $3.29 for this bag. The ones at Sam's are like $7.98. Now it is a lot more at Sam's, but... I don't know. So I, I, I just decided to try and buy them here this month. So I bought three of them. Um, and we're going to see how that goes. See if we end up like running out or whatever before, um, the month's over. I got Chris, these bean and cheese burritos, just when he's hungry, sometimes in the afternoon, he wants something quick. So just grab those for him. I have some frozen vegetables here. So I got three bags of sweet peas for the month and then two bags of green beans. We still have some frozen fresh green beans that I froze. Um, I, froze some, I froze some of the fresh ones, can't talk, from Sam's Club last month. So there's probably two meals worth in there of green beans. And then we have three bags of broccoli left. So that should be good on frozen vegetables. Finley saw this and wanted to try it. I think only because of the cookies, but she'll try this for lunch one day this week. We are having pancakes and bacon this week as just like an easy dinner with some fruit. So I got this fresh, uh, or not fresh, but usually I buy the fully cooked bacon. So this is uncooked center cut bacon. So hopefully that is good to go with our pancakes. I did just get one of the honey vanilla yogurts from Aldi because I'm going to be going to Sam's Club later this week, uh, but I needed some to get me through until then. So I just picked up one from Aldi. These they had on special as well. So you get 12 fresh stacks and they were on sale there for $3.29. In, in hindsight, I should have bought more of them, but I didn't. So anyway, I got that for Chris. Bite-sized round tortilla chips for the night that we do nachos this month. And then I did get my seltzers from Aldi this month. So I got, I mean, I'll probably get one of the Sam's Club ones too, but this will get me a good start. So I got the blackberry and the grapefruit. And then chocolate chips, as always. Two bags of those for the month. And then I think we got to come up here one more time. Two bags of these baby Dutch yellow potatoes. We put these in the air fryer and they are so perfect in the air fryer. So um, this will probably be two months for us. And we'll probably use these in the first half of the month. Although I think they would last the whole month. But yeah, that'll probably be for the first half of the month. One thing of blueberries. This produce is obviously for this week. So we got one thing of blueberries about two pounds of green grapes, and then two things of strawberries. And these strawberries are huge. Can you see how big that is? Oh my gosh. But they were on sale for 
Um, so I got two packs of them and we still had about half a container in the refrigerator. Chris actually really likes these. So I bought these for Georgia last month for Georgia and Finley and Chris is the one that ate them all. So I'm surprising him by buying him another one of these little birthday cake animal crackers because he's not a grown man or anything. Uh, fruit rounds, Finley picked these as well and Kylie will eat them too. And then I got two containers of milk because my kids are going through milk like it's nobody's business. So that is everything that I got from Aldi for this month to get us stocked up and to go ahead and, you know, get us going for this week as well. I'm running out of voice. It's starting to sound worse as I go. But yeah, so this will be for this week and monthly Aldi haul. So it's kind of like two in one. Um, I spent $189 at Aldi. So that's a pretty good start, I think. I'm going to do a Sam's Club pickup order later this week. So stay on the lookout for that one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did uh, by leaving me a comment, giving me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on Friday with my Sam's Club haul. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Oh, through the wastelands, through the